Do you want to create screen recording software that can record anything that is on your screen with no time limit or lag? Then this video is right for you. Hey there awesome people, how are you guys doing? So this is your Vbro from Tech Week, and so today in this video we'll take a look at the Pass5 screen recorder. So without further ado, let's get into the video. All right, so before moving into the process, I would like to let you guys know about the PassFab Back to School Education offer. In which, if you're a student, then you're gonna get 70% discount on the PassFab screen recorder that you can use to record any area of your screen, webcam, or both for a picture-in-picture -picture effect. In high definition, of course, and with no restrictions on the number or length of your recordings. To know more, check the description box down below. Now, to download this great tool, go to the description box down below and there you'll find a download link for this great tool. I would also like to thank PassFab team for sponsoring this video. Now, after opening the application, you'll be greeted with a really minimalist interface which is pretty easy to understand and to operate. So, the first option that we have is Screen Record. So after you click on screen record, you'll be asked to select the region that you would like to record. And after selecting the region, a toolbar will appear at the top that has the option to start recording, take a screenshot, picture in picture mode, and the option to draw. This feature is great for students as they need to record their online classes and might have to draw a quick diagram related to the class or maybe if you're working then might be uh, helpful for office related work. Beside that is the screen monitoring feature that allows you to monitor the region that you're actually recording. The smaller two buttons are nothing but disable speaker and disable microphone options. You can also minimize this toolbar as well as close the screen recorder option. So this was the screen recording option. And if we go back, then we have at the center the record game feature. And yes guys, you can also use Pass5 screen recorder to record your favorite video games. Stay tuned as there is a gameplay video that is recorded by this screen recording application. So after clicking on the game record option, you'll be asked to select the game window. And after selecting the game, the options are same as that of the screen record feature. The last major feature is nothing but record webcam, in which you can record your webcam for maybe a project or school related work, which is pretty much helpful for students as well as for official purposes. For me, I don't have any webcam connected, so it's appearing blank. Moving back to the home screen, at the bottom we have features like Capture Mouse, Capture Keystrokes, and Task. On the right side, we have a pull-down menu that contains other options like Files, General, Effect, Task, Device, and Hotkey. Well, now you must be thinking how much amount of RAM and processing power does it consume? And if you have an older PC, can you use this one? So let's answer that. Okay, so right now I am recording my screen using the PassFab screen recorder. And if I go to my task manager, you will see it's using around 200 megabytes of my RAM and around 24% of my CPU. And it's not using my graphics card. So it means that even though if you don't have a dedicated graphics card, still you can record your screen with amazing high quality. Now let's take a look at some gameplay that I just recorded using the PassFab screen recorder. Alright, so let me know about your thoughts in the comment box down below related to this gameplay recording. Did you like the quality or is it bad? So yeah, do let me know in the comment box down below. Now some of the favorite features of this screen recorder is the ability to change the graphics card. 
This feature is great for the people who has a dedicated graphics card and they can use the power of the graphics card to record the screen, which will of course result into better performance in the recording process. Along with that, the feature of selecting the frame rate is also one of my favorite because it gives the user to record something in smooth 60 frames per second or in stable 30 frames per second. Well, that was PassFab Screen Recorder. If you really like this video, then do hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel as I'll be bringing more useful contents like this one. Well, that's pretty much it. Have a great day. God bless you all and I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, take care.